Hello everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate MDT with SCCM. So here's my SCCM configuration manager console. And if I go to test sequence, these are all the options I see when I create a test sequence. So there's no, um, the MDT options. So what I need to do is I'm going to have to launch the um, MDT integration. Click on start. Go to Microsoft Deployment Toolkit integration. There's a configure, configure, config manager integration. I'll launch that. So right here, you need you want to make sure you check these two boxes, and your server name is correct. Your primary site code. All you have to do is click that and hit next. And click finish. So now I have to close the console and then go back in for it to show up. Okay, here it is, server library, operating system deployment, test sequence. As you can see, I have an option for creating MDT test sequence. Let's test it out. Create MDT test sequence. It works. Client test sequence. I don't have an image that I can play with. Um, I don't think it's going to let me choose or go forward once I get to the um, OS image. Let's test it out. Going to leave that join to work group. I have to put an organization name. Just put home since it's for testing. Click next. You can use the existing boot image. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to create one. Um, let's see where I'm gonna put this. Call this image. So this is going to be MDT boot image. Create a new folder. MDT, just call it MDT boot image. Place it here. I have to give it a name. Just call it MDT boot image. Next, uh, this is a 64 bit, so I'm call it 64 bit. X64 boot image. All right. 
next. Here's the other options I can install. Um, so for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Click next. Click next. I'm going to create a new deployment toolkit. Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. Let's create a new folder here. Uh, let's see. What do I want to call this? Let's call it MDT Toolkit. Paste it here. MDT toolkit. Specify an operating system. I don't have any operating system yet. It doesn't give me an option to Let me see if I have any operating system. My Windows 10, nope. Oh, yikes. Well, I'm going to have to cancel this out. I don't have an operating system. Uh, let's see if I can get one here. Let's see if I can extract this. Mount. Copy that. Oops, Let's see images MDT image. Let's call it Win Win Ten Win Ten image. I'm gonna paste it here. It's going to take a while. Uh, let's see. So it's going to be at this location. I guess I have to wait until it finished copying. I'm just going to pause the uh, recording and then come back when it's finished copying this. 
All right, the copy is completed. Looking for install.wim file. We're going to create a source file, a source um, folder. So right here, it's going to use the original install WIM file, and here's the destination. Click Next. Let's call it Win 10. Click Next. It's going to be a zero touch. Specify your configuration manager client. I'm going to use that one. Click next. So specify USMT package. I'm just going to create a new one. USMT click next let's call it UMDT USMT part 1.0 click next specify new setting package I'm going to create a new one Gonna put it in MDT setting. Click next. It's called MDT settings. It's fine. Click next. Click next. It's going to take a few minutes here. Ooh. What does that mean here? Fail to mount the WIM file. So what I need to do is um, create a new WIM file. I'm just going to create a new package, um, an operating system image first, MDT, the location, image, I'm going to use this one, oops, Click next, Windows 10 Pro, next. All right, let's see, I'm gonna run the create a test sequence again. 
create MDT, test sequence, MDT, test, test TS, click next, home, next, that's fine. Choose a boot image. I'm gonna have to create that one. Just put in a location where the, the folder I created. MDT boot image. Copy that. I'm gonna paste it here. MDT boot x64 image let's find click next next mdt toolkit file package i'm gonna add the folder i create already Next, MDT Toolkit. Specify operating system. I'm going to use the one I created. Click Next, Zero Touch. Configuration Manager Package, Client Package. Specify an existing USMT package. I'm going to create a new one. It's the folder I created. Click next. Call it MDT USMT. Click next. Create a new setting package. Next, let's call it MDT settings. Click next, next, next. That's it. That's how you integrated MDT with SCCM configuration manager and uh, the process of creating a WIM file. I'm having problem with the WIM toolkit here. I'm going to have to investigate why I'm getting this error, but that should be a problem. And um, thank you for watching and have a good day.